Hi, my name is Father Brian Dorr for those Catholic men. Believe it or not, brothers, it's Lent again. Seems like we just finished Christmas, got through into the, the winter of, of January, the Super Bowl, and now we wake up and it's Ash Wednesday, and we're off to church to start another season of Lent. I love this time of year. It's almost comical when you look out people that you work for or, or with, or you look at uh, people on television, people who probably never talk about their Catholic faith all of a sudden appear with ashes on their forehead. I really believe that maybe we should give out ashes every day if that's what people want, and maybe they'll come to church. All kidding aside though, it is interesting. I've thought about, I was puzzled by this when I was a boy. We put ashes on our forehead just after we hear the gospel preached from Matthew. We hear this every, every Ash Wednesday. Jesus said, when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head, wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasting. So right after we hear Jesus say, anoint your head and wash your face, we in turn go and put ashes on our forehead. Why do we do this? Why do we go out with ashes on our forehead so that everyone can see that we are Catholics and that we are repenting? Well, that's the issue. We're not doing this for anybody else but ourselves. When we put ashes on our forehead, we remember what the priest said. Remember, man, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. It's a great time to contemplate the fact that we are limited human beings, that we are mortal, that death will come for all of us, no matter who we are, what our circumstance, or what our age. It's to remind us that we should be continually dying to ourselves, so that when death truly does come, it should not bring fear to our hearts, because we should be prepared. We should be so dead to this world um, and, and, and alive in the spirit that, that death really is just a formality for us. So this is a great time. It's, it's the season of Lent. Jesus asks us to give alms, to pray, and to fast. Three great ways of of preparing for that great day when he will rise from the dead at the end of this Lenten season and Paschal mystery. Embrace it. Do things that you maybe have never tried before. Um, contemplate that this, this time that you spend is so valuable because one day, one day very soon, our death will come. And will we be, will we be prepared for that day? Um, I hope God finds both you and me uh, ready to greet him. And I hope you have a great and holy Lent and a blessed Easter to come. Mm -hmm.